So uh, it's uh, also an occasion of pleasure uh, because to talk to you the second time and uh, today we selected a very uh, suppressing topic which is the science a religion suppressant did we think of and we will see that whether it is right or not so the very first uh, let me focus on uh, this one that uh, okay it will not show yes on yes, this one okay, on the screen okay only the slide will change okay the, the very first question that comes to our mind is why means why this all beauty around us why this all cosmos around us it's a big question why we are in this world why we will die what will happen to us whether everything will be finished or it will be revived so it's a very really basic question means every mind is thinking on this that why we are here and why we will not be here and what was here when we were not here and what will be here we will not be here so it is uh, a very uh, basic question and the second is how so the first one was the topic of religion while the second one how is the topic of science how all these things came into existence how it is performing and how they will die down and what will happen after this so it's the topic of science and then what's the lesson which one is right which one is wrong whether both are right or both are wrong we will have to decide this thing at the end of the stuff whether the person is right or the person need to be avoided so the topic that i selected is science a religion suppression they did suppress our religion we think like this did we say that science is saying something else why beliefs are not like this and this we will start it out that where is the fact so i just quoted one of the ayats of the holy quran and if you um, want to see a very detailed name of the holy quran then it is this ayat so i will presume few things the very first thing is that i presume that we are know the translation of the holy quran how many of us know this yes translation those who can understand what is written like without translating it so they will enjoy it more and who know about the seer sir almost every study i remember about that i think 70% of the people they have some somewhere or another way they have studied it okay uh, and uh, science background you all have a science background okay so if you all have a science background then it means one by third of the tafsir of the holy quran you know right because one by third of it is science and the best tafsir is not tafsir ibn kaseer is not jalalain or you can say a long series 10 12 very famous tafsir are there so they are not exactly the tafsir of the scientific aya of the holy quran it's science itself science tells you that what does this one means so if you know science then it means one third of holy quran you know with tafsir and the other thing uh, that i will assume 
that you know about something uh, called the theory of evolution. Yes. That word come the first to our mind, which is means Darwinism. Because those who don't believe in God are the atheists, or they don't believe in anything. They call the God is nature. They are portraying this theory as something fundamental, something factual. But the situation is not like that. It, it was a theory, it remained a theory, it wasn't proved so far. Almost 200 years have passed to this theory, but we didn't get any single evidence for this one. And I will tell you why. What's the problem with it? Although evolution exists, although different theories of evolution exist, but they are not in accordance with the Darwin theory, we know this theory know as a religion. This is somehow became a religion, even though not scientific. So we will uh, discuss these things. Okay. The main topics that we will discuss will be the regime of religion and the regime of science and then why Quran talks about science. Whether it has to do something with our belief, the creation of universe and then the creation of the skies and earth and the one in which we are the most interested, the creation of human, the evolution theory. And here I didn't mention the one which comes under this one, the creation of human. The story of Adam and Eve, Adam and Hawa, alayhi salatu wasalam. Okay. So, are we the sons or daughters of Apps are chimpanzee? Alhamdulillah, no. No. <laughs> no. No, but the science says we are. Uh, yes. The science says we are. And when the Darwin theory was published, then in the newspaper, after you can say a year, a chimpanzee or you can say an ape with the shape, you can say with the head of the Darwin, the rest of it was the chimpanzee, our app, uh, and it was published that chimpanzee got his son. <laughs> so, whether we are like that or we are different, if we are different, then there should be some evidence to that one. And where we find this difference? There is, means, as I was discussing with my man of that, uh, there is a problem. And the problem is that one third of the Holy Quran is science. It specifically points out the scientific things. But we are not understanding them. From whom we will understand this? From the scientist actually. Mm -hmm. the, the first is the polymers. The very first thing that we should have understood this thing was from our holy prophet. Right? This was the very first thing he should have done. But whether he was able to explain this to those who don't know, like for example, 1400 years back, if he was explaining what is an aeroplane, mm. they will fly then how we will tell those people that what will be this thing? Why will we say that earth and samawat are being musakkard for us? Right? So they are, you can say, it can't be explained. Although our Holy Prophet even didn't uh, explain much of the Holy Quran, he left it for our understanding. Because time by time, people will come and understand this thing. It's a live book. It will address every new generation in its own way. It addressed in poetry, in literature, 
It it was in history first, then poetry and literature. Now it's the science world, and it is addressing science. Maybe after hundred or thousand years after, another thing will emerge. Then it will address that thing as well, which we don't know. It is here, but it will be revealed. It's a live book. It is changing one, and we will see this thing. So. Uh, the one thing that uh, whether we are the begotten sons or apps, we will clarify this thing. Okay, so the first, the regime of religion. Religion always focus on why. Okay? It really focus on how. So as I told you, one over third is science, so it means 66% is not science. So that 66% is mainly focusing on why. And then it really talks of how that how this thing came into being, came into existence. And this how is also not in calculable details. It is a statement. But the statement is so strong that if we think over it, we will understand this one. Okay, the first, this is the first time of the Holy Quran. And what does it say? That if in one phrase, if I define what is religion? From religion, I don't mean like the, uh, the religions are religions, which are, for example, the Buddha or different religions. From the religion, I mean Islam. So Islam is not only like the one that we Muslims claim. Islam is the Jewish for the Jewish people. It is the same Islam. For the Christian, it's the same Islam, and for us, the Muslim, it's the same Islam. It started from Adam, and it ended on Muhammad, right? It was a series, so it's the same religion. It is we who give it different names. Yehudi, Isai, means these are the names we have given. Means God has given the name only Muslim. Right? So from the religion I mean this. If I say that why there is a religion, then I will say that the only thing the religion is addressing is the life after death. Means this is the only thing which no other book addresses. But all the divine book will address this issue. That this life is temporary and or this cosmos is temporary and another world will come and that world is the real world. That world is the not ending world. This issue is not addressed by any other thing except religion. So this is the main theme of religion. Now the very first ayah says Alif Lam Mim means Ye Surah Alif Lam Mim hai Ya Ye Surah Bakara hai Bakara is the name given by us. It is not given by God. God gave it a name Alif Lam Mim. So Ye Surah Alif Lam Mim hai Aur Ye Jo Kitab hai Ye taraddud se khali hai. Means there is no doubt in it. And is me hidayat hai. Sab ke liye nahi. Woh jis ke dil me zara sa dar hai. Jis ke dil me zara sa cheezo se bachne ki jay na woh adat hai. Jo dar raha hai. Muttakeen, taqwa ar. Fattapunnar, this is the first of it. So, this is the first of it. So, this is the first of it. 
जिसके जिसे हम कहते हैं जिसके दिल में थोड़ा सा दर्द है 